Hey, what's up? It's me. It's Richard. Back with another video. I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you for watching my videos up until this point. New subscribers. What's up, y'all? I appreciate you. I've been having so much fun doing this. And yeah, sometimes I take long breaks. It's never intentional. It just kind of happens. And I get caught up in doing whatever it is I'm doing. Um, but I'm always kind of thinking about it. And thinking about you guys too and looking forward to when I'm gonna make something again and just be here and be able to interact and engage so I appreciate y'all for just being here when I come back and so I just appreciate it so thank you very much speaking of appreciation today I'm going to unbox a package that my dear friend Joss sent me now I'm sure you know this but a bunch of us well, probably everybody in their own little groups of people. Um, we send packages to each other. We're all obsessed with perfumes. So we share decants or maybe sometimes we'll pass on a bottle that we're not really wearing or feel like the other person would really like. What I realized is like when I get these packages, it's very hard for me not to open them. So of course I open them right away. Whenever I open these, I'm always delighted by what's inside and often surprised. And it doesn't even matter what's in there. I just, it's a couple things. People are so generous, so thoughtful, and that just blows my mind. And it's one of my favorite things to experience is other people's generosity. <laughs> I also like to be very generous. So it's like, like attracts like, and you kind of feel like you're in the right place when it's happening. I love gifts. <laughs> I know it's crazy. I just am so obsessed with receiving gifts. I love to get gifts. I also love to give gifts. Gifts is my love language. So love, love, gift, gifts. It's all good, good for me, me. Yeah, I did that. Wow, that just came out too. That was not planned. Um, how could it be? I'm gonna try and open these packages on camera when I get them. And it's not about, um, well, for no other reason than I think it's special and might make a great fun video because it's just really fun to do. I've also received some wonderful things from some other friends recently and I wasn't able to control myself and wait uh, till I was filming to open them, but I am gonna shoot some videos about those things that I received. Amazing decants, just like so many new fragrances for me to smell. And I know that people do watch my decant sort of haul videos, where I go through like way too many fragrances at one sitting and lose my mind. This is a package that came from the beautiful Joss's Fragrance Mixology and I'm gonna open it up. Fragile. Uh, yeah, this is, um, this knife is from the Pioneer Woman available at Walmart. I'm not ashamed to say that this is definitely a Pioneer Woman household. We love Reed Drummond in this house. I know it's weird because I don't know, maybe it's not weird, but yeah, I just kind of love her. It was a slow burn because I love Ina Garten, Nigella Lawson. I'm a big Food Network cooking show kind of person. Debbie Mazur had an amazing cooking show with her husband called Extra Virgin. She's amazing. That show was really, really fun too. But I have a deep, deep love for the Pioneer Woman now. And yeah, this is kind of like all faded because I never... Um, paid attention to the washing instructions. Uh, and I want to buy some good knives anyway, some real knives, like a good set. Uh, this is a whole thing that I went down, but the point is, I love the Pioneer Woman. We have some of my coffee out of my Golden Girls mug. Sophia, a character I relate to because I'm basically a grandmother. Even though I'm truly not a grandmother, I don't have children and I'm only 44. I am turning 45 though, soon. I think that's a big birthday, 45, because it's just sort of like a, even though it's an uneven number, it's in the middle of 50 and 40. I gotta cut a couple more pieces here. Um, come on, there we go. Okay, so let me see if I can open this. That's what it looks like. Oh, wonderfully packed. Okay. <gasps> okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um wow, what is that? Um I see something here that is really literally blowing my mind. I knew this was coming. Well, 
she mentioned it, but then she never spoke about it again. And I had a feeling she might be surprising me with it. Don't cry because that would be so weird. Or I'll let the moment pass. That feels more appropriate. Let the mo I'm letting the moment pass. So this is Dolly Parton sent from above. Okay. Um, if you were in my house, you would see that I have a whole, um, I don't know if I'm going to get through this without crying. Woo! I have a whole Dolly Parton hallway. Um, I love Dolly Parton. I even met her. Wait, I'm going to pull up a picture. Here's me and Dolly Parton. <laughs> I was so nervous. You can see these pictures on my Instagram. Uh, I remember I was so nervous because I was like, uh, it's all about the picture. Because when you meet a star, a celebrity or whatever, it's very quick. You know what I mean? Like you're not getting like um, moments. Well, it's, you are only getting a moment. Anyhow, so I knew that it's really about the picture because besides like the memory, that's kind of what you get to take with you is this photo. So I was just very focused on getting a good picture and I can look strange in pictures sometimes. I think I've talked about that before. So I walked up and Travis, my husband was like, look, uh, she's going to talk to you. I know she is. She's going to say something about your outfit because I was wearing, um, this. He's like, she's going to say something about your outfit. Anyhow, so I, it's our turn. And before us, there was like a woman who was crying and Dolly, she was talking about someone dying and I, I'm not going to get into it too much because I think I will really, really cry. But, um, Dolly Parton is like very important to me. The first movie I ever saw in my life was the best little whorehouse in Texas. Long story. I was a kid. Anyhow, I loved it. And my sister Kim and I, we really, really loved Dolly Parton. And I don't know, I guess she was like this Mary figure, this angel figure uh, in our lives, in our complicated lives. And I think she kind of still is and probably for a lot of people. And anyhow, uh, my sister died many years ago and uh, I sang a Dolly Parton song at her funeral. And, um, yeah, and I just, I don't know, I guess I thought that, um, which didn't really happen, but I thought that somehow if I, like, meeting Dolly Parton would be, like, um, uh, like this healing thing, or things would come full, full circle, or, and that's not really how it works. But meeting Dolly Parton, what that was like, was just really fun, <laughs> really fun and exciting. And I was so happy that my husband and I were doing it. And it was a dream of both of ours. Yeah, and on our first date, my husband and I, we met at a Starbucks. And um, then we went to my apartment and we talked about Dolly Parton for hours and listened to Dolly Parton music. And so, yeah, I've got a lot wrapped up in Dolly Parton. So this is just like very, very special to me. And you can't even get it in Canada. I think I'm done crying, but I should probably powder my face because all of that emotion made me sweat. Let's do that first. See, you can see where all the shiny bits are like no longer shining. This is very useful. Very useful. Okay. <laughs> wow. So yeah, this is extremely special and uh, to me, and I am so grateful. Wow. Guess Jehovah's working today. Dolly Parton, sent from above. Sent from above. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Stamp From Above by Dolly Parton. Wow. I think it's a fruity floral. It might even be a little generic. That doesn't matter. I think the story behind this is Dolly Parton put together a fragrance, which, I mean, most celebrity fragrances are, you know, described as like, um, you know, a celebrity usually a person uses you know, this oil or this mist and that fragrance, and they always wanted to create their own. And so when they do, it's like an amalgamation of all of these scents that they've, their own scent that they put together throughout the years. Okay, I guess I didn't need to explain celebrity scents to you. Oh, okay. P.S. It doesn't matter what this smells like. Like, it literally doesn't matter. I'm going to love it anyways. And you know what? I'm going to spray it on. Okay, I'm not even wearing a fragrance today yet. So I would say that this is, it's light, it's fresh. I get a mild tanginess out of this fragrance. Like I said, it literally doesn't matter what this smells like. I love Dolly Parton and I love this fragrance. Let me just really spray it on. Mm, wow, this is like, a dream come true. Also, P.S., like, I am literally going to have to take, I don't even want to talk about this. We shouldn't talk about it because 
I mean, yeah, why would we talk about that? But like, I'm literally gonna have to like use my bereavement time at work when Dolly Parton dies. Um, I mean, I hope it doesn't happen ever, but everybody dies. So yeah, I, those are like two things that I'm not looking forward to is like Tina Turner passing and Dolly Parton passing. Like that will be very hard for me and I will have to take time off work. Notes in Dolly Parton's Send From Above. In the top, you've got Pear, Peony, Black Current, and Mandarin Orange. Middle is Jasmine, Lily of the Valley, and Vanilla Orchid. The base is Amber, Musk, Sandalwood, Pachilli, Tonka Bean, Pachilli. <laughs> no, it's not Pachilli. It's Pachilli. Um, and fur. I would say that this fragrance is, to me, light, and I think it's also powdery. Um, but like I said, it truly doesn't matter what it is because it's a win for me. What's the- No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Okay, when I'm, to my friends who I'm going to chat with, when I tell you that I'm, when I'm crying and I'm laughing hysterically because I'm laughing because I just can't believe I'm crying so much, this is kind of what it's like. If you know me, you know that I'm obsessed with Cher fragrances. Uh, so she has included, um, Cher came out with this collection called the Six, the Decades Collection, and this is one of them, the 60s. Couture, it's called. Joss, like, are you, are you sent from above? Okay. No. Oh my God. This is, this is literally blowing my mind. This isn't even okay. This is not okay. I had seen, read, heard that these only came in roller balls. This is a spray. This is literally a spray. Oh is this even a good video? No, this is probably so crazy. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay. Yes. This is, I'm actually so emotional, I don't think I can smell properly, but I'll tell you what the notes in this are anyways. Actually, I can't find the notes anywhere. I'm gonna have to come back to this. My emotions are just running wild. And I think, I am smelling patchouli though. <laughs> and it's kind of like aromatic and a little bit sweet. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't start filming opening these because it's crazy. I have been so warmly welcomed by so many people in the fragrance community. Um, it even feels stupid to say something like fragrance community because if you're not a part of it, you would think it's so dumb to even talk like that. I know my husband sometimes makes fun of me for even saying community, <laughs> but um, yeah, this has just been amazing. And also to be someone who has oftentimes not fit in, although, you know, in my older life, in my adult life, of course, I have experienced fitting in more often than not fitting in. And I've developed through all the experiences I've had in life ways to be in many different situations with many different kinds of people. But still, there's that little boy in me, that part of me that, um, well, it's a silly part of me that's kind of obsessed with perfume. That's kind of a girl. And not that girls are silly, but you know, it's often silly for a boy to be a girl. I've been welcomed here uh, in a way that just feels so wonderful. I really appreciate it. And I'm filled with love and gratitude for this warm welcome I've received. What this video was, uh, what it turned out to be was a Dolly Parton sent from above unboxing and a share 60s couture unboxing. So basically this video was a dream come true. It is like winning the lottery. Joss, thank you so much for sending me these. I truly appreciate it. You know that I will reach out to you obviously personally, or maybe I won't tell you about this, and I'll just let you see how cuckoo I went over these Cocoa Puffs. If you made it this far, you're a real one. Thanks for watching.